weight bait, lying lips, and juiced up livers. These two-faced stars tipped the scales in their favor and learned real fast that fans weren't here for any of it. I don't want to be some skinny mini with my that. I really don't want to do it. Iconic songstress Adele experienced a drama-filled year right before the pandemic. And to get through it, the star immersed herself in wellness. She explained to Vogue, It was a lot of sun baths. It was a lot of meditation. It was a lot of therapy and a lot of time spent on my own. The gym was key. What resulted was a 100-pound shed, according to a source for People magazine. Right after her 32nd birthday, Adele took to Instagram to thank her fans for their well wishes. But the picture was divisive. As one Twitter user wrote to the singer, like so many public women, you are a poor role model. When it is convenient, you advocate that being obesely overweight is okay. But when the penny drops and you lose weight and are clearly more attractive, you advocate weight loss. Going by the heart emojis, most of Adele's fans piled on the praise. And when it came to the haters, she let them know she was still the same person she'd always been. As she told Oprah, I was, and I was body positive then and I'm body positive now. In an industry notorious for unattainable beauty standards, model Ashley Graham has built a following by challenging the status quo. Her TEDx speech, plus size, more like my size, has earned more than 4.3 million views. She said, Curvy models are becoming more and more vocal about the isolating nature of the term plus size. We are calling ourselves what we want to be called, women with shapes that are our own. I'm not afraid of my curves. I'm not afraid of my cellulite. Graham has walked the runway since her teens and gained an influential status thanks to her millions of followers. But in 2016, she shook the internet with an Instagram post in which she looked leaner. Although the comments were mostly positive, a few fans weren't dazzled by her transformation. One wrote, Next thing you know, she'll be shaped like a stick as all the regular models, and still claim to represent oversized people. But hey, who am I to judge? Her bank account got more money than I could ever get. So, life goes on. Eh. Graham addressed the pushback when she penned a write-up for Lenny Letter, arguing that anyone who aired their unsolicited two cents were setting unhealthy examples for the younger generation. How does she get these beautiful lips? On a Keeping Up With The Kardashians reunion special, Kylie Jenner detailed the particulars of an escapade that forever changed her life, claiming she once had a tiny set of lips, and that it was a crush who alerted her to the fact. She shared, I had one of my first kisses and a guy said to me, oh my god, you're such a good kisser, we have such small lips, or something like that. <laughs> As her insecurity grew, two signature Kylie traits were born, the use of lip fillers and a love of makeup. Kylie Cosmetics launched in 2015 with a set of lip kits and has since morphed into a one-stop shop for all things beauty and skincare. According to Forbes, Kylie has become a multi-millionaire in the process. And in a 2018 Instagram post, she admitted to a change when a fan pointed out that she resembled her old self. She said, I got rid of all my filler. With the revelation came a whole lot of heat. As one person tweeted, The biggest scam of the decade is when Kylie Jenner got lip fillers and then lied about it and started selling lip kits so people could get bigger looking lips and then made a billion dollars and then was like, psych, and got her fillers taken out. The comment appears to have possibly slipped past Kylie, who has a thing for clapping back at the opposition. Since stepping into the entertainment scene as the breakout star of Bridesmaids in 2011, Australian actor Rebel Wilson has become Hollywood royalty, and often playing characters centered around her curvy looks. Her most popular role to date remains that of Fat Amy, from the box office hit Pitch Perfect. My real name is Fat Patricia. But some had a bone to pick with the star as she publicly documented her fitness journey. And as she told the BBC, I got a lot of pushback from my own team, actually, here in Hollywood, when I said, OK, I'm going to do this year of health. All was well with Rebels fans until she announced the launch of a clothing line, in which plus sizes were oddly missing. Followers were quick to zero in on her lack of inclusivity and hefty prices, with one tweeting, I don't know what's crazier. Rebel Wilson not having plus-size clothing options, even though she literally was just very plus-size? Or the fact that she's charging over $100 for a pair of basically plain white sweats? Wilson had previously addressed appearance-focused bias, admitting to the BBC, I know what it's like to be a woman who is essentially invisible. 
Revenge Body creator Khloe Kardashian launched her transformation show for all the right reasons. As she explained to Ellen, I'm taking these people and trying to get them out of these holes, but teach them the tools to make them happy from the inside out. It's not about a weight number, it's about how you feel. In a similar fashion, Glowy's Good American Fashion line prides itself on promoting body positivity through all types of sizes. She equally delighted fans when she openly embraced her stretch marks on Instagram. But more than once, Chloe and some of her family members has been accused of flip-flopping on their active lifestyles. When an unflattering picture leaked online, Chloe fought hard to get it taken down. One follower tweeted, Chloe Kardashian trying to get an unedited bikini photo of her removed from the internet after trying to preach body positivity is the definition of hypocrisy. In a separate incident, the star was accused of editing her waistline in a since-deleted Instagram post. As one Twitter user noted, She and her sisters created a beauty standard that's not naturally attainable and knowing that they all resort to Photoshop. Only years prior, Chloe had come under fire for advertising flat tummy tea while encouraging the gym rat way of life. YouTuber Liver King has crafted an entire brand based on healthy living. The self-proclaimed CEO of the ancestral lifestyle has amassed over 250,000 subscribers and counting in addition to more than 1.5 million Instagram followers. Eating raw liver on the daily, working out like a beast, and hunting are all meant to be part of the influencer's overall goal, fulfillment of what he calls ancestral tenants. But in a lengthy YouTube video called The Liver King Lie, YouTuber Derek Cole uncovered a flaw in The Liver King's game plan. Cole shared leaked emails in which the influencer alluded to spending $11,000 on performance-enhancing drugs. Coming clean to Valuetainment, The Liver King watched the video and admitted, So then I went to the minute that they told me to go to, and then they start reading the email that I sent. And I said, holy shit, like, I did this. Of course, the public immediately weighed in, with one Twitter user writing, Liver King is the epitome of what can go wrong with an influencer. It can be hard to tell what's real or fake on the internet anymore. Well, at least the liver seems pretty real.